Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here, and today we're going to be checking out some of my favorite attacks between Jessmech and Highly Active in the CWL Premiere Season 5, Week 3. Now, the dragons. Somebody used dragons and got a 3-star in CWL. I mean, I, I was amazed, completely amazed, as amazed as you could get. Am I over-exaggerating? Maybe a little bit, but it's still super shot, guys. Dragons were used and used as a three-star tactic, so we'll get to that. Don't go anywhere. We'll get to that, but we're going to start at the top and work our way down on this route. Again, guys, Jessmech against Highly Active, 104 stars versus 102. Shout out to Jessmech for getting the win. It was an awesome war, guys. Super, super close. And if you look at the percentages, there's only a 0.4% spread, so like that is crazy close. This war was insane from the beginning to the end, and I was so pleased to be able to sit back and watch some of it. It was amazing. So let's check out some of the best attacks, some of my favorite attacks in the war, starting with the most difficult, a Town Hall 12 three-star. The reason why this was so clutch is because it came at the very last second. You're talking about like, your attack's gonna take three minutes, and he waited until he had like 30 seconds left to go in. Like, it was insane. So, um, fortunately the clock freezes at that point. It's not like he only had 30 seconds to attack, but it was just super clutch. And they were behind at the time. Like, this attack, among others, obviously, this is a team game. You can't give somebody all the credit. But it, uh, this attack, among others, really sealed the deal at the end of the war. There was probably a lot of pressure. So, shout out to Thanos. Very, uh, Thanos very very nicely done and also one thing I want to mention look at this there's a P.E.K.K.A in the army composition seriously been um, kind of changing my mind on um, <laughs> on on P.E.K.K.A I'm very impressed with how P.E.K.K.A looked but check this out this is like bowlers are walking man some of them decided to come back but for the most part a lot of bowlers walked and I'm pretty confident that that was kind of a scary moment for Thanos so CC dragons come out there's a heal there's a jump there's no poison. I don't see it. Well, maybe I do see a poison inside that jump. It's kind of hard to tell, but everything kind of comes together at once. Great Grand Warden to pop ability there. And, the, I mean, everything is funneling very nicely. The base design itself kind of funnels everything toward the Town Hall. You can see that where the walls are kind of lining up. It's like, Town Hall. And then the... Um, that uh, Town Hall. So now it's kind of down to one little thing. Town Hall popped, and now it's like, well, what's going to happen next? I mean... There, everything kind of stopped. I think that was kind of the point. It's like, maybe this is kind of like an anti-two-star base. You know, it's like Mrs. T, she wants to stop that three-star, right? But fortunately for Thanos, he's still got a queen walk alive. And he's still got a few troops alive, too. So it really, really comes down to time. And that's always the clutch factor. It's like, is there enough time to get this three-star? And Thanos... Thanos got it, but it was a it was a crazy close attack. So like, if you look at what's left, there's just just a lot of point defenses. Not a, not a lot of, in one spot though. Like it's just a very nice even spread of defenses. And he still got the queen. He still got the queen's ability. Hello, royal cloak. And of course he's got a few healers. And so very very impressive for Thanos. Thanos. I keep trying to say Thanos. I don't know if it's Thanos or Thanos, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. I didn't meet his, this guy in a stream. His name is Karma, so shout out to Karma. Very nicely done. So, let's just uh, watch and enjoy as these final defenses are going down. Um, Queen wipes out that cannon with the help of the king. She pops her ability, gets through the storage, and then they're going to have to break through the wall because that final air defense is kind of being a punk. I mean, let's just be honest. Right outside the range, nothing can get to it until just now. Notice, remember, that attack started down here in this corner. So that attack did a full 360. Shout out to Thanos. Brilliant attack. They really needed it. And that was the Tunnel 12 three-star that they needed. So, guys, if you're Tunnel 12, check out this uh, this army composition. Try it out. and uh, Let me know in the comments how it goes. Also, again, share this video. I've said this in every war video. I do share these videos with your clan because you can learn things by watching these replays and also you get army composition ideas. So, there you are. Now, let's check out number six. Number six was a Town Hall 11 three-star. And uh, these three stars are kind of fun to watch. Of course, Town Hall 11 being the second hardest thing to do in the game. Very, very close as far as difficulty to a Tunnel 12 three-star. So Karma being a Tunnel, tw uh, uh, a tunnel 11 himself, it's going to be interesting to see how he does this. Obviously, he's coming in with this Jibo Witch. He's got giants laying down in a, in a line. He's got witches 
that are great for distracting defenses, great for the funnel, and then the bowlers to really pack the punch. And then look at the wall wrecker. The wall wrecker is going straight for that down all as it usually does. Respell over that Inferno Tower. Wasting over the CC. I mean, it's like clockwork. These guys, they've got these attack strategies down to a science. I mean, it's like there's no hesitation. Everything is done as it needs to be done, when it needs to be done. They're like wizards. They don't, they're never late or early. They're, they arrive precisely when they mean to. If anybody knows the line and where that's from, please, please let me know in the comments that you guys have a little culture. So, uh, good, good jump, good heal. Unfortunately, a lot of bowlers died back there, but they did a lot of work. A lot of work happened back there, but most of the focus right now for this attack is in here. He's got to get this uh, this um, this Inferno Tower down. Hopefully the King doesn't die. He's about to get roasted. Good. All right, so the Inferno Tower goes down, and now it is just basically clean up. I mean, it's I don't think it's that confident, but check it out. Gold storage goes down. Queen makes her way around. She pops her ability, and she's going to step up. She's going to take out that cannon that's bothering her. Meanwhile, we have witches and bowlers doing all kinds of work, and they're just going to make their way across now. Now, look at look at the skeletons. Look at those. Oh, well, a bunch of them died, but there's more of them coming around. Tons of, of witches alive at the end of this attack here, and it's um it's all coming back around. Like I said, in the previous attack, that's on a 12-3 star, that they started on one side, and they finished on the same side. It did a big circle. They, it kind of happened in the same way in this attack, and that's why a lot of the times these attacks are a little scary on time, uh, but um, obviously this one turned out the way he wanted it. So Karma's going to get rid of the air def or the arch tower, the barracks, the cannon, and then hopefully they swing around to get the wizard right. Nope, Queen's going to bang on a wall. I saw a situation where this costed some clan the entire war when the Queen decides to bang on a wall instead of going around. But fortunately, that was the wizard tower that was damaged by the bowler bounce in the core. So everything worked out perfectly for Karma. A lot of luck, a lot of skill. Well done. Great 10 11 three star strategy there. If you're 10 11, check out that army comp. All right, guys, we'll move on. We're going to check out number seven. This is Mikey, and this is a fun This is a fun attack. All right, again, Town Hall 11 v 11, and he's got 28 hog riders, guys. This is a strategy. I mean, yes, I know everybody's like, what about the dragon thing? What about the dragon thing? It's coming. Don't worry. It is coming. Uh, there are There is a three star with dragons, but this is also probably, in, in my opinion, just as impressive as a Town Hall 11 three star using dragons. So let's just check, or I'm sorry, using hogs. This one has hawks, 28 of them. So check it out. He's got a bunch of troops kind of creating a funnel around here. He really wants to get a ground kill squad. You can see there's that golem. There's that queen. There's the king. King's there. Warden's there. And what about a wall wrecker? Bam. Perfect. And a few bowlers. Everything is going to dive in. I've seen my clan mates do this. This is a really impressive attack. So uh, wall wrecker goes in. King's going to go in as well. Bowler's behind. There's a freeze on that inferno because you don't want your wall wrecker to die prematurely. That can ruin it. That will ruin an attack. Uh, pre uh, uh, preemptive poison spell. It's going to get rid of all that. There's a warden ability to take care of that grant, that eagle artillery. Wall Wrecker's still alive, getting them into that eagle, and there you go. If the eagle goes down, if the enemy queen in the CC goes down, your base, the base, is ready for hogs. And look at that. Four heal spells, guys. Four heal spells for hogs. It's going to be a beatdown. All right, this is going to be a beatdown. So check it out. Hogs everywhere. Um, starting on this side, he's got 13 more to deploy, by the way. Got lucky that Giant Bomb didn't get all of his hogs, by the way. A uh, little luck, but a lot of skill, of course, like I said earlier. Um, and there's still... Yeah, there we go. I was about to say there's still four heal spells, but there's there's one. So hogs are going through. You're going to see probably another heal right in here because the bomb tower does do a lot of damage. Or is he? Wow, he is going to hold on to his heals. He's a little slow on the heals for my taste. I'm a very conservative healer when it comes to hog attacks. Uh, but here's a good heal. And there's one more, and that is for that section of the base there. So the hogs are going in very, very nice. He's making sure to keep them good and together. Uh, ooh, wow, double giant bomb out there dangerous and <laughs> make sure you, your hogs stay together make sure and heal them and predict in front path in front of your hogs where are they gonna go so that you can make sure that you keep them under heal all the time so there you go hogs taking out one of the last defenses there's like 16 skeletons or something following these hogs around uh but once they take out this final cannon they'll turn around on these skeleton spell skeleton trap it to be just fine and look at that the warden followed the hogs around that is always fun so cleanup now taking place we'll go ahead and speed up through the cleanup but guys i think that one of the best things you can do is practice hogs at any tunnel level if you're tunnel seven 
you can get hogs. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I've seen hogs use it every time on level. Just a little tidbit. Recommend you practice hogs because they're absolutely beast. Of course, you saw in this attack, he had to get rid of the CC. He had to get rid of the queen. He had to get rid of the eagle. But once he did, those hogs, they did work. So shout out to uh, Mikey. Very nicely done. And try this out. Oh, and uh, I didn't even realize it. CC Valks. There you go. All right, so let's bounce out. Let's check out some Tunnel 10s. Where's the dragon attack, Klaus? It's the last attack. I'm sorry, but you, you'll see it here in a second. Let's check out number 16. And this this was an attack that I laughed at. I enjoyed the heck out of this attack. I wasn't laughing at 1701N. I was laughing with 1701N. All right, you guys just check it out. You guys watch, all right? So this, look at how many wall breakers this guy has. 10. He brought 10 wall breakers. And it's a good thing he did. You'll find out why. So Queen Walk, La Loon. All right, I love me some La Loon. I wish I did it better, but I don't. I've accepted this part about me. So um, King and a few Wizards going to create the funnel. Very nice funnel, by the way. Uh, Wizards going to go untouched as it whittles away at that air defense. And then he's going to get roasted. But check this out. Check this out. Wizard and Archer on the other side for the funnel. Queen Walk approaching. Here's a wall breaker. One of 10. And, oh, one of them's down. Okay. He's going to try again here in a moment. Uh, maybe after the... Nope, he's got another one. And once again, yep, it's going to get shot down. There's that Tesla. Here's another one. Went the wrong direction. Almost made it through, though, because of the rage. Um, wall breakers go through. Oh, damaged the wall, but didn't quite get the wall. Good thing he's got 10 wall breakers. He's got five left. So uh, CC was lowered. He drops a balloon to take care of the Tesla. Oh, there's another stinking Tesla with the wall breaker. Gets shot again. Again, he lost another wall breaker again. And then this guy goes the wrong direction. And then this guy finally comes in. He times the balloon just right. And he finally gets in there. It was almost a wall breaker fail. I don't know who brings. I don't know who brings 10 wall breakers to an attack, but that was fun. I enjoyed it. He, you know, what did we learn by that? You know what we learned from that attack? We learned never give up, All right? He had some dedication and he figured it out and he got through and he still got the three star. So very impressive. And look at, it, he's still trying. He's still trying to get some wall breakers in there. They get through and they actually open up the base and get the, and, and with the last two wall breakers, he gets in on that expo compartment. Amazing. So, all right, the blimp's been deployed. No more focusing on wall breakers. The blimp's been deployed. The balloons have been deployed with the hounds. Everything is in there. Um, max balloons coming out of that blimp. Very nice. Actually, the sweeper helps because it pushed the balloons toward the air defense. So that kind of was nice. Good freeze over the air defense. There's no more spells, by the way. Something to consider is no more spells left. And he still has two key defenses, the air defense and the inferno. And the arch tower is not a pushover either. So well done to him, guys. That queen walk was everything. And it got he came down to the very last wall breaker. He had 10 and he needed all 10 to, to get that done. So that was... That was a fun attack. Well done to 1701 um, in whatever. Uh, <laughs> it, was, it was great. It was it was absolutely fantastic. And I love the guy's name in the base. Why so serious? Exactly. This is a game, man. I enjoyed the attack, not only because it was La Luna and it was a great, beautiful attack, but because of the fun stuff with the wall breaker. So shout out to that. And um, try out Queen Walk La Luna whenever you get a chance and share this video with your 10 10 friends if they want to three-star 10 10s. And then finally, guys, yes, finally the Dragon Raid. Let's check it out. We're going to go. We're going to check out Bacon. Bacon against number 25. Now, if you look at the army composition, first of all, actually, let's pause it. Let's pause the video, okay? Breaking the action. Look at this base design. All four air defenses are right here. Expo is set on ground. Queen is over here, too. Like, this bit, and then, and then the Infernos, and the all the Wizard Towers are in one spot. So, this base design already is just interesting. It probably made Bacon think for a while. So let's look and see what Bacon decided to do, <laughs> all right? Starting with the composition, he's got healers. So this is going to be Queen Walk. There you go. And he's got five dragons. Now, five dragons on a full composition. It's not like mass dragon. You can't three-star anything at Town Hall 10 or even at probably Town Hall 8 without with mass dragon. Okay, you can't. Um, but with five dragons, I don't, think, I don't think I've seen a single dragon raid like this in CW all this season yet. Some of you might have, if you watch CWL streams and stuff maybe more often, or you know other content creators that cover CWL, but I personally have not seen any of these raids. So I thought this has got to be pretty impressive. So 
Um, he drops the poison. He does get the easy CC lure. Not a hard base to lure the CC. Um, he pops the Queen's ability because he felt like he was in danger there. So the Witch and the Baby Dragon goes down. But notice what he's doing. He's got the Queen walk. He's got the King up there trying to funnel because he wants the Queen to get in there. Take out that enemy Queen and the air defenses. Also, I want to keep a wide berth because I'm not entirely sure when the dragons come in. But great wall breaker. Very nice. Um, the other guy could learn from that, right? Uh, <laughs> wall breakers are fun. They, they make or break the attack for sure. No pun intended. Great raid spell. More wall breakers. Did this guy have 10 wall breakers too? Is that a, is that a thing Jezmek does? Uh, queen goes down. Very, very nice. Great wall breakers. And there we go. Here is the dragons. They are coming in. There's only five, but man, do they do work. There's also a blimp coming in. Queen walk is still alive up top. All four air defenses. The enemy queen and the clan castle all destroyed by the queen walk. Very, very beautiful queen walk there. Dragons going through. And the, the, the rule of thumb has always been if all of the air defenses are down, the base is dead. And that's, that's something that I've heard about Tunnel 7 bases. Like, way back whenever I was Tunnel 7, like three years ago. Um, so, I don't know if it's true at Tunnel 10, but it sure seems to be from this war attack. Uh, and unfortunately, the queen died up there, but at this point, guys, there's only a couple of air targeting defenses. One of them's busy on the healers over there. She don't know her priorities, Arch Tower. She don't know what's going on. But once that expo goes down, there are still five dragons alive, and it looks like this dragon raid worked out. It's a queen walk dragon. Um, borrow the composition once the attack ends. You can you can check it out for yourself. Tunnel 10s. And if you're in 11 or 12, try it out. It might surprise you. You don't see a lot of dragons in, in war, especially not at Tunnel 10 uh, or any CWL wars. Uh, but when you do, you got to take advantage of it. And look at that overpowering three-star for bacon. Well done, my man. Well done. There is the army composition. Try it out for yourself and let me know in the comments how it works for you. And guys, that is going to do it for today's video. My favorite, the best, I think, the war, uh, best war attacks in the war, Jess Mech versus Highly Active. Well done to both clans. Super close, 104 to 102. Um, and just, it was a no-biter from the, from the beginning to the end. So shout out to both clans. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Like this video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button if you have not done so already for daily gaming videos. And as always, I love each and every one of you. And I will see you all again next time.